Hey, so in this video, I'll show you how to record a sequence of notes in Ableton Live in kind of like a rigid grid, almost like you're programming an old school sequencer. But before I do that, let me show you the other two ways that are most common to record things on a grid. So the first one is just to record using a metronome and just to play things real time, for example. And of course, then if you want it to be rigid, you would go in here and then you would quantize it by pressing Command U or Control U. So let me show you the other common technique is to draw things by hand. So for this, we need to create a clip manually. So you do this by selecting a region and then you press shift command M and this creates a clip for this duration and opens this little piano view at the bottom when you double click it. And at this point, there's two ways you can enter notes. You can press the B key to enter this little pencil mode and then you can draw your notes in by hand like this or you can just double click in a region and that'll add the note here. So now let me show you the third way, which is lesser known, but it combines sort of the best of both worlds out of those two other methods. We do the same thing. I'm gonna remove this just to demonstrate, but again, you have to create a MIDI clip manually. So Shift Command M once you select a region. And then once you're in here, the crucial thing for this is to click this little headphone icon here, which is not very visible. But what this does is it allows you to audition the notes as you're kind of dragging here, you can either play them on the keyboard or you can sort of, every time you add a note, it'll press it for you. But the other thing it allows you to do, which is really powerful, is enter notes on like a step-by-step -step basis. So the way this happens is that you place the meter or this little insert bar by clicking where you want to insert the note. So let's say I want to start at the beginning, I would click here. The next thing is you want to select the duration of the note you want to enter. So you right click and then you choose the grid you want. So for example, let's say I wanted to enter a bunch of quarter note chords. So now the way this works is that you hold down the MIDI notes you want to enter in the next step, and then you just press the right key on your keyboard. So the left and right keys effectively move this cursor. So wherever the cursor is, when you're holding down a note and you press right, it'll enter the note. So let me just show you real quick. I'll just enter a single melody. So let's say I press G, I press the right key, and added the G. So now I press C, press the right key and press another note. So obviously I'm slowing this down so that you understand how it works, but how you would do it in practice is you can play a whole melody and kind of just basically use your two hands. You play a note, press the right, play a note, press the right, and then you can sort of play out your melody like that. So here's what it looks like if you do it a bit faster. Now we can listen to that. But now let me actually program um, slightly nicer chords so you can see how you can quickly enter chords at a fixed interval and move across them. Now we can listen to those. So you can see I was quickly able to program a really kind of uh, elaborate chord progression, which would have been hard to play in real time at this tempo. And also I didn't have to wait to actually kind of go through it and record it and quantize it. You can just quickly just play next, play next, play next, play next, and kind of insert your notes that way. And so now obviously I can edit this down so I can change the gate length by selecting everything and dragging this up and down. And then obviously you can change the velocity as well here. And I can add some delay. And of course this works for drums as well. So I can go here and do the same thing. Shift Command M to enter this. Make sure the little headphone icon is on. And then you choose the grid you want. So this time let's say I want to do eighth notes. And to add a silence all you have to do is press right without holding a note and that'll just kind of move the cursor. So you can jump ahead here, add some more of these. I have no idea what this is gonna sound like, but let's find out. So not very exciting for if I switch the 16th notes. You can get more of like a... And just for dramatic effect, I'm gonna do like an eighth note series of chord progressions here or maybe intervals. A 
I'll skip out of silence. Skip a few. Skip a few. And then if you want to increase the duration like you see here, as I'm holding down the note, you can actually drag it out to be longer. So it takes a bit of practice because you, you need to sort of coordinate the pressing the right key with the actual playing. But once you get a sort of a groove and a, a way to kind of lock down, it almost becomes like playing a sustain pedal, whereas you're just holding and pressing down and like, let's listen to that. So obviously it doesn't sound great because it's, I was kind of just randomly plugging in notes, but you get the idea. And the more, I feel like this technique works really well for kind of really rapid stuff, like stuff that you would normally not have played uh, by hand. So another thing I want to mention is the way you can kind of tame the velocity. So if you want to be super rigid and have a fixed velocity with a fixed grid step. So let me program a simple thing again here. I'm going to choose quarter notes to keep it simple. So as you can see, the velocity was captured from what I was playing on the keyboard here. So if you look at these little um, meters at the bottom, you can see that the velocity is all over the place. So let's say you wanted to have like a rigid velocity. So one thing you can do is select everything here, bring all the velocities down and then bring them back up. And now they're all the same. So let me undo that. Let me show you another way you can do this in Ableton Live is you can open a plugin called Velocity which is a MIDI effect. And then at the bottom here, you choose fixed, which will just take any incoming velocity and turn it into a fixed velocity. And then you can change that here. So let's say I wanted everything to have a velocity of 67. So now we're getting something that is quantized in time and quantized in velocity. So it's a very kind of robotic, rigid sound. Another cool thing you can do at this point, because you have everything that is so like perfectly recorded, is you can add an arpeggiator to add some variation. So again, to recap, the main things you want to do is make sure that this little icon is on. And then you're basically using your left and right keys on your keyboard to move the playhead. While the playhead is moving, whatever notes are being held will be programmed in. So you can kind of quickly add stuff there. And so far I've been going just from left to right programming one note at a time. But I can always go back here and let's say I wanted to add this D here. I could just hold it, press right and add it in. And of course you can stretch out your notes like I mentioned. So if you hold the note and then press the key multiple times, you can add a longer note there. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next.